I'm so looking forward to joining President Bill Morgan at Parker Seminars in Las Vegas this February. Parker has asked me to give four uh, mini courses. The first one is called The Foundation. As a professor for 32 years, we simply asked one question, how does the spine work? And that became the code of uh, scientific principles uh, in understanding how the spine is able to have mobility to move and dance and sufficient stability to handle the loads uh, which might range from picking a child out of the crib at 2 o'clock in the morning or deadlifting uh, 800 pounds for example. Well, all of the models that you see here have been developed to represent the pain mechanisms of specific patients. So here might be an example of a patient with a little bit of a Schmarl's node, uh, a lot of uh, a loss of disc pressure so that the joint now becomes slightly lax. It's lost stiffness. So this joint has normal stiffness, this joint has normal stiffness, but observe what happens when we twist and bend. The majority of the strain is now directed to the joint that has lost its uh, stiffness. Well, if that patient then came to your office and they opened the door, typically freezing their hips and reaching through their back and pulling through the range of motion, uh, you have little chance of removing the cause and desensitizing their pain. But if you can then employ the principles of the code, the first one being proximal stiffness to grab the door, drop step the door using the ball and socket joints and pulling through, you've just eliminated the strain that was causing their specific pain. So that's the first presentation. The next two presentations are on assessment. And I am not going to teach reliable assessment techniques. I'm going to teach specific assessment techniques. So an example might be the Sloan test, where a first year student is going to get exactly the same impression of the patient as the master clinician. But consider if I flex and uh, return to upright, that may or may not trigger pain, Every clinician will get the same answer, but consider this. Let's say the patient slumps, and maybe that triggers their low back pain. Uh, and then I ask them to flex the neck, and their back pain goes away, the opposite of the slump. More puzzling yet to some clinicians, if I then raise the uh, head and extend the cervical spine, the right toe just went numb. Highly specific, but very unreliable. So I'll be teaching the skill of uh, specific tests. The final uh, presentation has to do with the intervention, and no clinician will be successful without eliminating the cause. So you'll see here at BatFit Pro, we have the assessment table right in front of a power rack, for example, where we then uh, coach the uh, individual in their very specific pain mechanism and strategies to avoid triggering it. And then we build a foundation for pain-free movement. Uh, now, if they're a world-class athlete, we've proved many, many times in many sports that they can restore their athleticism back to world-class level. The principles that we've learned there are then brought down to the average patient walking through your door. I look forward so much to seeing all of you in February.